Hi everyone. Yo. What's up? I'm in Marriott in Brisbane. Oh, trigger warnings, um, disclaimer for over 18 only. I mean, is that enough for kids or underage teenagers not to look at this? But we have to put a disclaimer out anyway. So, okay, so I finally feel like I um, don't have as much jet lag. And yesterday, like, I had the, uh, after I had lunch, had the biggest nap. Still in a bit of shock, a bit surreal, and everything that's happening at the moment in the world, in my world, cosmically, astrologically, um, in the physical, the 3D. Um, there's a lot happening. But then there isn't a lot happening if you are in hotel arrest. Um, I listen to myself practice today, and like I have a lot of thoughts, getting a bit restless in this lockdown. And just thinking about everything that's going on that's with, like, I'm a bit shocked about, you know, Elvis Presley's son. I think it's, I don't know his name, but it's something Keel, because Lisa Marie Presley was married to Danny Keel or something. But her son was 27 and he was found um, inflicted with a gunshot wound or something. Which is really fucking sad, and another suicide, or so-called suicide. And then um, this recent uproar, I suppose, or gossip, or whatever, about J Jada Pinkett and Will Smith and their open marriage. Well, it is kind of like an open marriage, and about her affair with. A younger entertain a rapper um, but that that came out after um Shane Dawson was um uh outed for making inappropriate jokes about children on his um youtube channel but there's a there's a lot of um talk about cancel culture and there's a big list of famous people that are supposedly being executed and they're part of the deep state, the cabal, you know, you're talking about the Clinton Foundation, the Obamas, um, the Bush, it's, it goes way back to um, JFK and his assassination, which was the first red false flag that was recorded to traumatize the public and there's also talks of um but listening to the psychic readings um jfk jr is not alive and let's see um So I'm in Brisbane right now and I was asked to take a COVID-19 test but I kind of jumped the gun because apparently they won't do the COVID-19 test until later on because they don't think the symptoms will show up until like um, until like more, more time has passed by and so um, but if there's no one getting sick, then 
there's a possibility that no one will get tested anyway. But it just it's a bit of a waiting game. Um, and I don't wish to be tested with a swab going up my nose. Um, the only reason is because there's so much mixed reports about COVID-19 and like Australia's been pretty controlled and it's the outbreaks have been quite minimum until recently with Melbourne but even Germany didn't like didn't have as many outbreaks as let's say America, Spain, Italy or Iran or Iraq But I didn't really mean to get so political with my videos. It was just that the timelines are fused together with like my intention to also share my spirituality and experiences. I got itchy eye all the time. Not all the time, but <laughs> um, crazy times. But it's important to ground and. I practiced singing today so I could open up my throat chakra, but I sounded pretty terrible. Wasn't impressed with myself. <laughs> but, um, so the tip for the day for my hotel arrest, um, is that keep finding things that make you feel excited and joyful and breathing techniques like help, um, meditation, yoga, I've got to start doing yoga again as well, and if you like to know, um, have any questions, please comment or email me at chongha888 at icloud.com, uh, What else? What else? What else? Um, yeah, just remember that you have free will and that it's your choice to direct your attention to what is um, important for you and that you can um, control your energy. And so otherwise, wherever you are, have an amazing one, day or night. And namaste, peace, and love to you all.